Hey everyone, it's Ryan from Resell CMY. There's Paul. How's it going, guys? We are going to pull 33 eBay orders for $1,101.24. We got 33 orders going out, so that's pretty good. It was a kind of a slow weekend, uh, but it added up pretty decent. We'd like to be a few hundred dollars more. Uh, pretty happy with how it went. Last week, Paul got chemo, so I think that we spent maybe three plus days without really listing anything. So going into the weekend, probably ex could expect a little bit lower. Um, yeah, we're just gonna pull a bunch of orders on video today, kind of show you what we sell to make a profit. For those of you who don't know, we buy large collections or go to garage sales, estate sales, yard sales, buy stuff, come back, resell it all pretty much exclusively on eBay. And then we use YouTube to kind of document what we sell. So you can kind of learn what how we manage everything and what we pick up to sell for a profit. Uh, if you haven't already, please uh, comment, like, and subscribe down below. We're going to get right to pulling some orders. And then after that, I have maybe 15 locations to read off for the resell CMY Army map back there. That's a map of our viewers and their locations across the states and beyond. Um, yeah, what do you think about the weekend sales, Paul? Uh, really kind of slow, to be honest. I went to bed last night. I don't think we sold anything all night. And then just grabbed a couple little yeah, things this, this morning. morning. But relatively slow. Hopefully this week picks up in the beginning of the week so we have some uh, good money. But we should be listing all week. I feel better this week. Here, so we should be have a bunch of listings up. This is actually coming over to help list all week. Sorry, say that last part again. So my niece is actually coming over Friday to help us list and make some money also. Yeah. So we should get a bunch of stuff. We got Kabas and Luna going at it. Kabas hasn't made an appearance in a video in a while. He's wanted to be outside. Um, and then uh, Luna's been here. She's always here. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, first item to sell here. I believe it's our last one of these. It is our last one. It's one of these Star Trek uh, graphic, basically a sticker book. Um, large stickers. It's hard to show because you're in between each thing. But uh, yeah, just tons and tons of stickers in this book. 1979 on this. I think we had four of them. This is the last one to sell. $20.23 with free shipping on that. It just goes in a vinyl mailer. Here, this has been listed forever. I think we have... One more. We have one more. I think we sold, this is the second one to sell. This is Dirty Dancing, uh, brand new sealed. So for $8.79. Free shipping. Free shipping, so we'll only make like three bucks on that. Remember when you used to watch that and practice dancing? Oh, I loved it. <laughs> what was that Roadhouse I used to do that for? Or was that Dirty Dancing? Uh, the same they, guy. Are they? Yeah, Patrick so Swayze, I think. Uh, so they're the same movie. The 10D. Yeah, the same thing. Yeah, we sell a lot of belt buckles, this and we had a, a ton of them. Uh, brass Buffalo or Bison belt buckle by Baron Belt Buckles. Vintage sold $20 plus shipping on that. Yeah, 1978. Um, the animal ones do pretty good. Like I said, I just picked these up for a dollar or two at a garage sale, and typically you'll do pretty well. Especially if the topic's good. I think there's. See this one above me. I think there's three of them. Yes, sir. And just we just one, we right? just sold one. Yeah, it's one of those three right there. I'll read it off. Resistance A Wing Fighter. That's it. That's it. Yeah, we have these listed for twelve ninety nine plus shipping. They are brand new sealed. Um, someone offered twelve dollars instead of twelve ninety nine. So yeah, we took that. Um, happy to get one of them sold. Came from the Star Wars buy. Got us 12 bucks. Next is kind of cool just because they bought three of them. They were sealed. They were in D, so one, B, C. I think it's these three right here. That's them. All three of these are brand new sealed. It is uh, Pope John Paul II there. Sings at the Festival of Sacrosong. Um, yeah, 1979. Uh, total order, $26.39. Uh, I want to say these were listed for $10 with free shipping. And then they got caught up in the 12% off sale. So thankfully, someone bought all three. And it actually really made it worth it for us. So next is going to be above me, Paul. 
Yeah, we're gonna need the ladder twice. Might as well grab both the things that I see up here. Okay. Uh, the first one is gonna be Disturbance at Lars Homestead. It has uh, some air bubbles inside so it doesn't move. Paul's right up on the top <laughs> of that ladder. Uh, here, I'll go set it on your desk. Wanna grab that Rancor down? Should have some figures with it. Okay, this is a really good one. Um, this sold for $60 plus shipping, and that is without the figures that were inside. A lot of these uh, play sets I have from the Wars Buy don't have the figures inside them, and they're mixed up with over a thousand figures, so I wasn't gonna go looking for them. Uh, this still sold for $60. You can see it better uh, in the screenshot. It looks like kind of like a, looks like an igloo, but it's obviously like a desert setup here. Um, $60 plus shipping. I think with the figures brand new sealed, it would be 100 to 120. Uh, look it up though, don't really quote me on that. I just know it would have been a lot better. Um, yeah, just listed it without everything and then I put a bunch of the air bubbles inside so that can't move around. Next is J9. You got an action figure. It came from the arcade buy, so quite a while ago. Um, kind of a surprise figure, wouldn't you say? I mean, yeah. for this price. Um, Spider-Man UK Loose Marvel Legends, $22 plus shipping. Uh, I'll take that all day long on a little figure. Yeah, we're not starting this. Next is behind you. Let's around. see. They're going to do... Uh... Oh, she's going under her desk. <laughs> is this it, Paul? Yep, it's right there. Is that a stand? All right, you want to read that one off? That is a Barago Italy 118th scale die cast 1996 Dodge Viper GTS Coupe. Came from the Baker Buy, $10 plus shipping. Nice. nice um, above me. I just noticed we got some of this little Who and Friends paperwork here. I wonder if we forgot to... Was that outside of a box at one point? I'm not even sure. Hmm. I didn't hear back on it. Oh, we got to go up on the ladder again. Yep. Next is above Paul. I don't even see it. it. Must be to the back left. I'd hold his ladder, but that would ensure that he won't fall. So let me just stay off to the side. So I got all the pieces on it. There it is. Nice. Um, hundred percent complete. It says 1988. This is a Cobra Imp. This came from the GI Joe's buy. This sold for $26.39 plus shipping on that. We've done really good with these vehicles. I miss I miss uh, having like 10, 12 GI Joe things go out every single day. I was right I was writing things down in the book and I was only like two things from the Joe's buy today, so. Next here is right over on D. It is gonna be Smee from Peter Pan. This is a Walt Disney Classic Collections. Um, you can see that box there. There's a Jiminy Cricket. They like coming in boxes like this. Uh, Mr. Smee, this sold for $29 plus shipping. I think it is our last one of the Smee. Originally 90 bucks. Christmas two. That's gonna be in a little tiny tote over there. You wanna get that and I'll go to the next yeah, thing? All right, the next thing is a dinger. And a dinger, for those of you who don't know, I just had someone write in the comments to go over what a dinger is. Basically, anytime we sell something like $100 or more, uh, and it, or, or a complete order over $100, like we had uh, three slot cars that were $100 plus, and ch and, uh, plus change. That was a dinger also. But we got this dinger right here. Paul already pulled it down. It was above my desk. It's another one of these Rancor figures. We sold one for, I think, 120 last week. This is Star Wars The Force Unleashed Battle Rancor. Felucian Rider. It's got the rider on it and uh, a saddle and a weapon there. Um, that sold for $114 plus shipping from the Star Wars buy. Awesome dinger right there. Paul just pulled a little tiny ornament. Uh, another thing that got caught up in the 12% off sale. So for $8.79 with free shipping. So we'll make like three bucks on that. Next right here, it was on top because we pulled two last time. So yeah, convenient. perfect. But this was, uh, this is a Tweety Bird cutout fabrics, a Soa toy pillow. 
plush as you can see it's two-sided it's cut out you sew it stuff it whatever we had a bunch of these different characters i listed them all separately individually this one sold 12 dollars free shipping super easy to ship nice yeah and we got a bunch of that stuff left i think there's another tweety right there it might be the last tweety bunch of other characters there and the best ones were actually like teddy bears right yep. teddy bears teddy and bear puppies dog, yep. next one's right here Hey, from the Nova Buy. Is it? What is this? Bachman? It's a Bachman HO model R model railroad car, 89 foot tri level car transporter. Nice. It's a it's basically a model railroad car with die cast cars that go on it. Nice. That sold twenty dollars plus shipping from the Nova Buy. Nice, and there wasn't really train stuff on the Nova Buy. This nope. came with all the cars, yeah, right? Yeah, that's something Perfect. about that for those die casts, I think. Perfect. 20 bucks plus ship. D5. Other D5. Side. This is going to be the old school picker drawer. Hello, Chris. Hope you're doing good. Hope the, hope the Braves kick some butt this year. Looking a little slow here in the uh, spring training so far, at least for batting average. Uh, we put together two of these Land Before Time watches. This one is like Little Foot and it's circle. And I think the other one is Little Foot. Yeah, and it has like a square design. Uh, dogs are playing uh tag in the shop what are you two ding dongs doing well we lotted up two of these quartz analog watches here uh sold for 13 dollars and 19 cents plus shipping i think we had maybe like three or four lots like this and i think this is the last one to go out okay next is over above the panel box this has been listed a long time a long it still has the plastic on it. It says 1974 on it. Napoleon cigar, 10 cent. Just a little tin sign. If I were to see this somewhere, I would never have think that this is 1974, a little tin sign. No. It looks like something like super modern. But uh, yeah, it ended up selling $29.03 uh, plus shipping. So it must have been in the 12% uh, off sale as well. Next is 10A on the other side there. Weird, we were in here twice today. There's a belt buckle too. That was 10B, Paul. Was it? Oh. Yeah. He's messing around. These two random little figures. We got them uh we got them rubber banded together instead of in a bag. Two little Fisher Price little people. Number 915. What's that? I got a phone call here back. Okay. Uh yeah, just two of these little tiny figures here. I don't this says they came from a garage sale. I'm assuming it was just in a big lot of stuff. So we pulled out these two pieces separate. And they sold for $7.03 plus shipping. Next is going to be 11A. So basically we're going over to the same area there. Paul stepped out. He had a phone call. Probably his drug dealer. Just kidding. Uh, Star Trek, Catherine Janeway. Captain Catherine Janeway. Sorry. Got to have her title in there. Um, we had some Star Trek stuff from the Nova Buy. A lot of it really just, just going to garage sales for a few bucks a piece or so. Uh, this 1999 Playmates, though, was a limited out of 10,000. Let's see if you can see it better. Let me get it by those lights. You can't see crap. Um, this sold for $22.79 with free shipping. Super light. Uh, happy with that one. D5 here. I'm going back to Chris's drawer, the old school picker. And it's just going to be a big lot. Uh, 1970s to modern. This is the end of a box that Paul was listing. Just lots them all up together. Starts an auction at $9.99. Just got bid up a little bit to $11.50 plus shipping. Uh, happy to just move it out. We do that with all the ends. You'll see probably three or four more of those going out by the end here because we have a bunch of loose cars to list still, okay. correct? As you can see, this is all I got left are the carded Hot Wheels. That's it. What do we have? Over five, six hundred of these? Yeah, I have no clue. And he's a been lot. making lots of 20. 20. That's all that's left. That's it. And then I'll move on to the loose ones like we just sold. These, did you do four already today or today's. more? No, that's just today's. So he's already did four. Uh, I think we're going to pull out one of these here in a second. Are we? Uh, D19. This also came from the Nova Buy. That is a Bear Lederer Bra Nornberg, Germany, 
five a half liter Stein stoneware, and that sold for eighteen dollars plus shipping with a small crack. In it. Yeah, you can, you can see it right above the blue there. I'm gonna point out that crack. Yeah, right there. Just a little hairline crack. Uh, pretty cool design there. Uh, happy to pull some money I out of that though. For you, though on video. Where are we at with the Nova Buy? I haven't asked you. In Nova days. Buy. Um, let's see. My handy dandy book skills. Twenty six hundred and thirty five dollars off of sixteen hundred, and then I think there's, I think there's over two thousand listed. And then let me just show them real quick. Um, all those bottles, all of this back here, like these are just filled with all sorts of brass things and all sorts of stuff. And then all this stuff too is all still from the Nova Buy. So we're gonna do really good on that deal. That's actually gonna be a, a really good one by the end. Plus there should be quite a few things that we move over for garage sale items out of that as well. Okay, next, J5. It's going to be this one. Lou Skywalker. Uh, yeah, this is, yeah, Yavin or Yevin, um, vintage collection there. This sold for $18 and four cents with free shipping. I'm going to J10 over right here. Looks like this guy. Is it? Jawa. I think so. Off-world Jawa. Yep. That is a 3.75 inch off-world Jawa, uh, Mandal from the Mandalorian. And that sold $17 free shipping. Yeah. And both these are just modern, uh, figures, um, and they go out typically between eight and twelve ounces with our boxes, so uh, I've cost like four fifty to five fifty a piece to ship those, depending on where they're going. Next might take us some time to. Uh, looks like Kabas was going for a little uh, journey over there. Next might take a second here. We got three different bedding items going out. Delaney, one says D4. I'm going to go get that now. All right, Paul has two of them going out to the same buyer. I'm going to come over here, though. I got D4. And it's not one of these. And one of these. I think there's three of those down there. And... They are one pillow sham. That's it. Uh, made by Utica. One pillow sham. Going out to a different buyer than the one Paul's pulling over there. $6.68 plus shipping. And then Paul's pulling a flat sheet. Martex Corin. $10 plus shipping. And also... Uh, twin fitted sheet. Both right here. I don't know. I can't even read all those things, but this is them. Yep. They were both Antelier. Yep. Oh yeah, one just. Uh, oh yeah, they both have it in the title. So basically, it was a flat sheet and a fitted sheet of the same style. Uh, one was ten dollars plus shipping. The other one was sixteen dollars and seventy-one cents. So twenty-six dollars and seventy-one cents. Plus shipping, I will have to refund a little bit. Uh, most likely what happened there is we had so much bedding. One got listed and probably halfway through the listing process, uh, we came across the other. Boss. We're gonna have a uh, game of tag here. So Luna goes around. She goes around that side. Kabas, Kabas can never catch her, ever. Until she goes underneath the table. <laughs> okay. 7B. 7B from the Baker Buy. There you go. That is a vintage. Uh, 19... Hey, quiet. 1990 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Undercover Don Donatello. $11.87 plus shipping. Nice. Nice J3. J3. J3, this is a G.I. Joe that's going to go out here. This is going to be 1984 torch uh, with file card has his backpack weapon there twenty nine dollars and three cents with free shipping i'm gonna take that yep and then next is gonna be up here and i just closed out of it 
on my phone on accident. So this is gonna be kind of like the same thing as the uh, Homestead one that I showed you earlier. You can see I packed it full of bubble wrap inside. Um, it was all in its specific spots in there, but uh, just moving around, so it was opened. I'm trying to get back to it on my phone here. So I'm stalling by blabbering Star on. Star Wars Dagger Squadron B-Wing fight, Fighter from Toys R Us exclusive. So for $80 plus shipping. Uh, so we get some size out of here, plus we get a nice little payday out of that one. That's awesome. I'm going to set this one up here, Paul, just because your desk is getting full. Next is right here in D35. These are Vintage Idols, Ghostbusters, Dr. Peter Venkman, Raymond something. Uh, they sold for $35.19, and they're from the arcade buy. Nice. I think there's three out of the four main guys there. Happy those sold. Bookshelf. Bookshelf. Annie. He's been listed for a while. No clue where these would be. I'm assuming right there, maybe. Yep, grab those two right there. These things? Yep. Okay. Let me see them. Yep, I was gonna say right there. Any poster book, and that girl's terrifying, dude. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> she looks like an adult. She's less terrifying in this one just because she's got a cute little well, puppy with her. So, uh, uh, we got two Annie, basically two Annie magazines, $17.59, free shipping on those. Uh, probably just lotted those up together because individually they didn't have a lot of value. Number 10, Paul, right there. Talk about I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this one hand because they're in there. oh, I got it. So this is gonna be a lot of 20 Hot Wheels, brand new, on card, uh, lot number 10. They didn't sell at auction. So then we started them at a buy it now for $14.99 plus shipping. And someone picked up this lot. So you can see it better in the screenshot. Next is something we typically don't sell too much of. One. Unless it's a giant little foot. I could see it right there. It's going to be a plush item. Some people buy tons of plush. We don't typically mess around with it. But every once in a while we have some items. This came from uh, Dan's. So it's probably just wadded up in a tote somewhere. We got Dan Breckner plush rare neon pink flamingo. Super rare. Super rare, everyone. Can't find that. Yeah, $8.35 uh, plus shipping. This is why we do this for rare items like that. Last but not least, this person was really happy with it. They wrote a message. For these things? Yeah. I don't even know what the heck it is. You see them? Oh. Oh, grab it. Yep. These are new Royal Limited gift set rear jeweled leopard pitcher frame and like candle holder. $17.59 plus shipping. They wrote a message. Thank you so much for having these at such a great price for me. Nice. They're happy to have They've them. They've been listed for a while yeah. too. I'm going to wipe down the That's top. That's long they've been listed. Yeah. Get a alcohol wipe on this. And that's it for the sales. So a little over $1,100. Um, one dinger in there. We did get some size out the door though. Quite a few boxed items. Quite a few things from over the uh, the desks and such. Where do you want this, Paul? Right here. Okay, before, Paul's gonna go right to rip and tape and ship in here, because that's how he rolls. Doesn't want to waste any time at all. I am gonna read off the locations that you all left uh, from the last videos. Um, for our resale CMY army map here, some of the viewer locations we just received that were new and I already got them pinned here. Uh, Roselle, Missouri, Carrollton, Georgia, Allentown, Pennsylvania, Bird in Hand, Pennsylvania, Cotopaxi, Colorado. What the hell was that noise? Oh, my computer. Bellevue, Ontario, Canada. Uh, Beloit, sorry if I'm butchering these names. Beloit, Wisconsin. We got Malone, New York, Maple Rapids, Michigan, Fishkill, New York, Charleston, South Carolina, Kirkwood, New York, Vancouver, Washington, Palestine, Texas, and Stewartsville, New Jersey. Thank you all so much for commenting. Like I said, I really think, think it helps us on YouTube just having the interaction with everyone. Um, for those of you who haven't already, go down and comment where you're watching from or where you're subscribed from so I can add you to the army here on the map. Uh, we don't have any uh, more magnets today just because we haven't been back to the post office. 
Um, I know there's some on the way, so maybe tomorrow, uh, the next video, I should say, we'll have some state magnets for everyone. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for all the YouTube support and the support on eBay. Uh, please comment, like, and subscribe down below, and we will see you in the next one. Everyone have a good one. Say resell CNY. Resell CNY. Said please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> Say thank you. Thank you. And bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Right. Thank you. Bye.